Puppies love to get dirty and I want to show you the best way to introduce your puppy to bath time so that they will not only get clean but be easy to bathe throughout their life. Hi, this is Allegra, owner of The Naked Dog and I am a dog trainer and dog body language expert. Let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to give Chispa her first bath. The idea is to keep it short and painless, but just help her get used to something that's going to have to happen throughout her life. If I don't have a reason to, like my dog got oily or rolled in something smelly, um, I don't bathe my dog very often. I'll do it just a couple times a year. Bathing too frequently can strip the oil on their skin and create an imbalance. So I don't want to do it too much, but I do need for my dog to be able to tolerate it when it is necessary. And different breeds like Yorkies do need to be bathed more. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get some nice warm water. You want it to be lukewarm, um, not cold, definitely not hot. We don't want to burn them. And I want to get the water temperature right before I put my dog under it. I don't want to scare her with water that's too hot or too cold. After bathing is a really great time to clip their nails because their nails are going to be soft from having been in the water. So I usually like to pair those two activities and then we just do everything that sucks all at once. Fair. I'm going to take my puppy and I'm going to run her under the water. I'm going to keep my energy nice and light. I'm going to say, good girl, good girl. She's like WTF. And I want to support her with my hand under her chest. She's got that little puppy smell. Got that little puppy smell in here. Sometimes they'll even um, try and swim. Like there, she's doing a little bit of the swimming motion. For today, I'm going to avoid her head and ears, but you can take a cup and wet the tops of her ears. So here, shake it up. And I'm just keeping her with my one finger. I just don't want her to hop out. So I'm not putting any pressure on her. It's just kind of preemptive. And here, I actually like it when my dog is up on something because I want to be able to rub, rub, rub. And I might add some more water if I have to. So here, I'm going to use my nails. And look how skinny that doggy got. So I know, I'm going to rub, rub, rub. I want to get it on her tail. So when I make it sudsy here, I can pull the suds off and move it down to her legs. And here she's got these long toe hairs. So here, get some sides, move it down here. I don't want to use too, too much shampoo because it's going to be harder to get off. Ooh, careful, but I am going to use a little bit more. So here I pick up her front paws so I can rub in them. Obviously the paws is what we walk on the street with. So those are usually the dirtiest, and this is great desensitization for her. And because we did a little bit of that work earlier, she's not struggling against me too much. And here, I'm gonna hold her front end, and I'm gonna get her hind paws. And here, I'm gonna get in her lady bits. I really want her to feel safe and supported here. Um, I don't want her to feel you know, like I'm gonna let her body go into a weird position. This is the cutest thing. She's so skinny. She's so cute. She's oh so my skinny. god, it's such a cute dog. <laughs> she's like unsubscribe. Is she shaking? <laughs> no, she's doing great. She, oh my god, so she's here. so skinny. I, I know, really she's really so like... little. And rub, 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 rub. And now I'm gonna get my water going. It really is handy. I'm doing this in the sink. So I can have this option and it's a little warm and I can move this around. Oh, I know. So here, this is obviously the hardest part for her. Um, I don't want to overwhelm her 
but ultimately this is a place where she doesn't know that she's safe, but I know that she's safe. So I'm just going to stay really calm. A lot of owners get so upset when their dog gets upset, but that really doesn't help because then you're just telling your dog, oh my God, you're right. You have a reason to be upset. This is super upsetting. So I want to lead the way for her and I want to say, hey, I know that this is a new experience for you. I totally get it, but I am your teammate and I'm going to keep you safe. And as long as my energy is calm, I want that to be the most important cue for you that everything is okay. So here, I'm rub, rub, rub. You wanna get everywhere that you got soap. So I'm carefully going below her ears. And just rub, rub, rub. If you leave any soap on your dog, that's going to make them itchy and it's gonna cause a skin irritation. So I wanna be really careful that I'm going through and that everywhere she feels squeaky clean. So I do my first run through with the water to clean off the shampoo and see she's not struggling anymore. And then I do a second run through to really touch everywhere and be sure that nothing is smooth and soapy, that it's all squeaky. So because she's squeaky clean here, this is why it creates that increased oil production. So this is why, personally, I'm not gonna be bathing my dog all that much. Now here, I, oops, I pick up the hind end, leave the front end down. Here I'm gonna do one more run down her belly. And I'm gonna rub, 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 rub. Make sure I get the under tail area. And we're done, she did great. So here, my first pass with the towel. I'm gonna use a short end. I'm gonna do it in our little sink tub. And just rub, rub. I like to pick up the front feet. I'm squeezing very gently. Squeeze, squeeze. And just squeeze, squeeze. Rub, rub. There you go. And now here, Pick her up and hold her. I'm gonna switch to another part of the towel. And she's gonna dry so quick. All that fluffy hair. This is such a good girl. You are so brave. And look, she's just settling so well. So it's really good to do some of that desensitization and bite inhibition. And it really creates trust and you're helping your dog learn to settle. Because ultimately, if they are a calm and willing teammate, you're gonna get through whatever you're doing a lot faster than if your dog is thrashing and struggling to get away from you. That's gonna take a lot longer. So it's wonderful to teach her, hey, you know, I know that I seem really weird to you, but just hang in there and let me finish and I'll finish as quickly as I can. So here, look, she's getting her little fluff back. So I'm gonna rub, rub, rub on her belly. Rub, rub, rub. You know, thank you for the kisses. Mm, good kisses. There, yeah, she's not mad. Rub, rub, rub on her hind legs. And here, just keeping really soft. Soft in my touch, soft in my energy. And I'm not, you know, oh no, that was so terrible. I'm so sorry. I don't want to have that energy because sure like I don't really like showering either but gotta do it and ultimately if this was the worst part of your day you still had a pretty good day hey if you're enjoying this video there's plenty more don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell below to follow along